Today's Bible study is titled Just What is the New Covenant? Have you ever wondered just what is the New Covenant and who it belongs to? You don't have to wonder as God made it clear in prophecy to Israel and Judah, stating, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34. Commentary is not necessary if the word above is read and is rightly divided. Let's take a closer look. The new covenant is promised to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Currently, Israel and Judah is concluded in unbelief until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Romans 11 verse 25, at the close of the current dispensation of the grace of God. But the days come just as God promised in this prophecy. And when Israel and Judah's Messiah and King shall come, the white horse coming after seven years of tribulation, their covenants, Palestinian land covenant, Davidic kingdom covenant, and new covenant, the above prophecies of the new covenant will have their fulfillment. And, in case you need further proof that the new covenant pertains to Israel and Judah, and not you as a member of the body of Christ, the scripture quote continues after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Some believers think the new covenant somehow applies to them, but these prophetic scriptures, and there are others including Ezekiel 36 verses 24 to 28, clearly demonstrate that such is not the case. Hopefully this will send you to your Bible to study and understand the things that differ between Israel and Judah's earthly prophetic covenant program and the mystery which Christ revealed through the Apostle Paul for the body of Christ. Believer, study the Bible and know the things that differ between prophecy and mystery. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.